How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm elated. I, I'm anticipating what we're going to do great tonight. You in our new facility that's not all the way done, but you can see that uh, we've made a lot of progress. And, it's, uh, and, the, and the young men are having a good time with it. And you just celebrated your birthday along yes. with the whole metro. Younger. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Again. Okay. Yeah. Are you excited about the way things turned out? About? Your birthday. I don't care about it. That, I mean, when I do celebrations or something like that, I don't, really don't celebrate myself ever. It's to bring people together. And I saw all ethnicities there. And it was a beautiful thing. And I, I loved it immensely. I had a great time. Whenever I'm seeing everyone collectively having a good time, it's a blessing. And that's what it's all about. Now, I know you talked about when we were at your birthday mm -hmm. that you want to see more of those people who were yeah. at your birthday at the game. Yeah. What is your call to action for these folks this season? Um... First of all, let's get that business straight. Let, let's get the entrances to the stadium correct so there's multiple entrances. Let's get the parking correct so that we're not missing out on 10 to 15,000 fans that would normally come in, but they don't because of the parking situation. Now let's get the ones that came and fought through the parking situation that are in the parking lot just chilling and having a good time. Let's get them in the stadium. Then we'll think about the new ones that I cannot wait for them to experience uh, a game at Jackson State. It's, it's something that I think you, you, especially when the house is packed, you, you, you've got to experience at least once in your life. You are going to be walking the field this year. Yeah. Not rolling. Not, not rolling on a scooter. Not on a knee scooter. Um, maybe not in the same pace, but uh, I will be. And that's a blessing. Thinking about that journey, too, where are you right now? Mm. Sore. I'm, I'm throbbing right now, but I'm good. I'm good. We've, uh, I'm here. I'm here five some in the morning. So I get my workout in for everybody getting here. Now, now we practice uh, and walking around on the practice field. It's not easy, but I get treatment a couple times a day, hopefully to relieve some of the pain that I'm in. These players, mm -hmm. what do you expect out of them? A lot. We we know how to win. We've proven that. Now we got to dominate. We're trying to dominate. It's one thing to win. We know how to do that. We've improved every position, we improved the coaching staff, we improved the support staff, we improved everything that you could fathom in concerning Jackson State football. Now it's time to go out there and dominate. That's the only way they're going to get to the next level. If you dominate what you're going to do, what you do, you go to the next level. And that's what we want to do. We want to flat out dominate. We, we don't want them to get on the bus or the plane and think they had a shot. That's what we're trying to do. And that's going to get more kids into the NFL. First question, people always ask me this question. Are we going to win? Which is a dumb question. Like, no, we're going to lose. <laughs> no, that's a dumb question. I hate when people ask me a stupid question like that. Are you going to win this year? No, we're going to lose. We plan on losing. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll get beat. The brakes off. Uh, the brakes going to get beat off us every game. Why would you ask them stupid like that? Yeah, I plan on winning. Reaching higher heights requires. Um, that's that's a mul multiplicity of things. Reaching higher heights regard focus, discipline, um, sacrifice, work. Yeah, all those attributes. I am currently watching. P Valley. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. I said it. I said it. Didn't stutter. Didn't stumble. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm inviting him to the first home game. <laughs> yes, right. I'm clip. Come on. Gotcha. Little murder. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted it real, right? You wanted it real, all right? Be valid. Okay. I, I just got, I was done with the Queen of the South, um, and I went back to Empire. I, I went back to all my stuff that I didn't finish. I like to complete things, so, yeah, I'm in P Valley right now. I'm not happy with all the scenes. Okay. I'm a little uncomfortable, but I stick with it. I stick with it. <laughs> Main thing I hope to accomplish this year? Uh greater number of kids graduate and we're able to get them into the workforce at at six figures and and and, and beyond the kids that we have on the team that are fathers that we teach them how to become fathers not baby daddies several young men go pro and i don't hear of any ignorance in the community concerning my players I want to hear, you know what, he opened the door for us. Um, he was very delightful. 
That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear they were loud, they had their pants down on their butt, they were playing loud music, they were smoking, I don't want to hear all that. I want to hear the, the pleasantries. Every day I do this. Every day, I shower twice. <laughs> uh, I try to work out. Mm. Um, I pray. Don't ever tell me this is better than this. Don't ever tell me this. It, it, these are thought provoking questions. Don't ever tell me mm -hmm. that this hot sauce is better than that hot sauce. I don't want to call the names because <laughs> I'm giving them free advertisement, but don't ever tell me that this hot sauce is better than that hot sauce. Because I'm with this one from the, from the womb. Can you whisper it? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want y'all getting over. Everybody should know about this. Jesus. Everybody should know about the goodness of Jesus. If I weren't here right now, I'd be. Mm, that's a good one. <laughs> At a power of five. <laughs> not, not dealing with some of the trials and tribulations that we're dealing with. Yeah, that's a true story. All right, one thing I haven't done that I would like to. One thing that I haven't done that I would like to. I, it, they're, they're like two things that black folks don't do, but I would like to, okay? We don't deep sea dive. We don't bungee jump. And uh, we don't cook on Sundays, okay? <laughs> Fridays, we don't cook on Fridays. Say, no, no, we cook on Sundays, we don't cook on Fridays. I don't know how to cook, uh, but I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I wanna jump out of a plane, strap to another man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not jumping out by myself. I want to jump out with my hands on the cords to pull real quick, just in case. <laughs> but I, I do want to experience that once. Okay. Yeah. Can we put you in a hot air balloon? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I need control of that. Okay. I'm a, I, I like control. You know, that's why I never drank the smoke. I like control of me. Hot air balloon. I don't know the purpose of a hot air balloon. I don't know what was a hot air balloon created for. Like, I've never seen nobody say, man, I, could, I enjoyed that experience with a hot air balloon. I've never heard that before. I, I ain't seen it. <laughs> Is it one person? Is it a singular it's thing? a couple people. You can get in the group. But yeah, but uh, ain't going to be no group. Ain't going to be no group. It, it has to be a trust thing with hot air balloons. And I don't trust, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because <laughs> I don't know no one just said, hey, let's go do a hot air balloon. I don't know, you first one. Mm, and you're black. That that uh, <laughs> that kind of uh, you know throws it off a bit. <laughs> All right. Last question. Nothing brings me more peace than this. Uh, these kids getting what they deserve. They're getting every darn thing that they deserve. I like that. That that makes a smile. My last last question. Okay. Last last question. This is the one you keep avoiding me on. Okay. When is the next album coming out? Well, I had hits last time, and uh, Snoop, one of my dearest friends, now is the president and CEO of Death Row, so I think I'm, I'm definitely making a comeback. I think I'm definitely making a comeback. You may hear us on a uh, song together. You know, my, my, my kids, they, they want to, they dabble in too. They want to do the doggone thing, all three of them, actually. But I think me and Snoop may put some. I, I, I told them, let me get a verse. Matter of fact, you don't know this, but we rap together at the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we have a song. Deion Sanders and Snoop, Hall of Fame song. And rumor is, my verse was more fire than his verse. That's just a rumor. Okay. I'm not saying who started it, but I'm just saying it's a rumor that, you know, my verse is more fire than Snoop. Although Snoop was rapping about me, my verse hit. Google it if you got time.